Good morning and what's up everybody? I'm Nick with Mad from Multirotors and today LD Power has sent me a set of their new Storm 2305-2600 kV racing motors. I like the fact that we're starting to see some different sizes and just like the rest of LD's products these things look incredible and I'm sure they'll perform incredible. Let's take a look at them. Here we have LD Power's standard embossed, nicely packaged little box here. <clears throat> and we have their display style packaging. These motors are really, really pretty. I mean, beautiful blue anodized coating. A little bit of silver touch on the edge where they machined it just to make it look pretty. And then we do have clockwise and counterclockwise, you can tell by the shaft color. Hollow shafts, recessed C-clip, solder pads, and the hex nut on the top of the bell housing for getting stuck props off. Uh, impressions, they feel great. They look great. I mean, <laughs> they're definitely something different, and they are cut in the opposite direction too, so whenever you put them on, <clears throat> for the OCD people like me, they will f spin in directions that are aesthetically pleasing. Also in the box, we got their little accessory package. We've got wires. We've got nylon lock nuts, clockwise and counterclockwise. We got hardware. It's pretty standard. And then we have their special wrench. Now, y'all are gonna laugh. We got a small end which fits the nuts, and it does fit. And then we have the big end, which is to help you get props off in the event you get stuck. Now, yeah. So mine doesn't fit, and it, I tried this earlier. It's not just this one. It's all of them. So I'm going to grind it a little bit so I can get it on there, but yeah, the little wrench doesn't fit. <clears throat> now these motors are... Oh, $75 for a set of four right now. I've only found two websites selling them. And uh, that's a set of four. Ah. There's also a black edition for the 2300s. These are 2305-2600 kV. So these are expected to be some serious performers. They're about 28 grams on the scale. I can't quit playing with them. They're so pretty. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm an OCD guy. I love patterns. But doesn't that just look so pretty? <laughs> anyway, I digress. I'm probably I'm gonna stick them on my OAS Mod X, which is currently running something else, and we're gonna see how they handle. They look like great motors, and I'm gonna test so them out. So I'm a building, and LD Power has been super nice enough to include a set of hardware, as most do. But there's a problem. It's only short screws. Focus. Thank you. So I'm going to have to supply some of my own hardware. Keep that in mind if you're running a thicker frame. Oh my god, this camera won't focus. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to have to supply some longer screws and hopefully they'll remedy this in the future. So apparently the audio for this clip completely washed out due to the wind, but I'm outside holding this motor. I want to show you guys something. I tried the longer screws and you can see the PDB extends all the way over the screw holes so you can't run a longer screw and accidentally hit the motor windings so I'm gonna have to either find a set of screws that fits halfway in between or I'm gonna have to use the short ones and a lot of Loctite so interesting I like it and I hate it at the same time because it's an awkward size because of my frame thickness okay guys I'm about halfway through this build and I know y'all are probably tired of me talking by now but I had yet another thing that I wanted to bring up so LD Power is known for pretty damn high quality motors and parts and pieces and as you can see these motors look great they're machined great you know they're they're really they're not nah, they're pretty cleanly wound and everything on these is just is beautiful and perfect and I mean hollow shafts and nice threading and we got this hexagon that even has little textures on it <clears throat> and it's it's a pretty uh, motor like it's beautiful for what it is and that being said 
Uh, these PD, or PDB, they're not PDBs, these little pads that the motors are soldered to are not very high quality. And now I say that because this one right here already had a chunk taken out of it before I even started soldering. <clears throat> and I had one over here that started to lift on me. Now the solder sucked through the hole and, you know, it sealed up and became fine, but it, it's confusing. I mean, LD Power makes a great product. Look at these things. They're freaking beautiful. But then, for whatever reason, the pads are just kind of meh, whatever. I mean, time will tell if they hold up, but anyway, I'm going no back to the No freaking clue why, but every time I start to record one of these, I get the yard crews doing leaf blowing. Anyway, so look at these shiny bad boys. All I can say is wow. I mean... I've flown some fast motors, I've played with a lot of the popular ones, and these things with these 5040 Cyclone props is ridiculous. By the time you realize you're full throttle, you're all the way on the other end of the field. Like, it's ridiculous. I mean, this is my OAS Mod X Fly Color Raptor 30 F3, F390 ESC. It's a Hyper, er, Hyperlite? Yeah, Hyperlite F4 flight controller. Fairly upscale, nice build. I mean, I'm running 8 kilohertz uh, refresh time and uh, pit cycle time. And, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. You're sitting on the ground, and you come to your hover, and you tap the throttle, and poof, gone. Like, holy crap. For the money you're spending on these things, these are the, probably some of the best motors I've ever flown. They look great. They work great. I did have to grind down my little wrench a little bit, just so I can get it to fit. But it is super nice to be able to just slip that in there. If I have the right side, which... I look like an idiot. Okay, that's the nut side. Come on. There we go. All right. Just slips on there on the little hex nut <clears throat> and lets you just take it right off. I don't know about y'all, but I have cut my hands many, many, many times on the sharp props and the slippery bells of these motors. I mean, I mean it comes right off. And it's great. I mean, there's no slippage. The little wrench works great, fits great. I did have to grind it a little bit, like I said. Focus. Yeah, see there, you can see the discoloration there where I had to grind it. But I mean, it was a minor thing. It was literally just the coating on this wrench. So, do I like these motors? Hell yeah. Do I suggest finding them? Also hell yeah. These things freaking rock.